Hi, today we're going to take a look at the network movement. So we're going to make the client see the host move and vice versa. But before we start, I've uh, created a Discord channel that you can join um, for me to be able to help you guys better. In Discord, you can format code, uh, stuff like that. It is, it's easier to have a back and forth discussion than in uh, the YouTube comment. So uh, if you want to join, the link is on my YouTube banner. Let's get started. All right. So first part, of, uh, uh, first thing we have to do is on the play prefab, we want to set it at zero, zero, zero. Because if we don't do that, the uh, actually when you start the game uh, with the two players, it's probably going to be like super far away. So um, I don't know why they didn't come up with it in the previous video, but now it did. So um, let's make sure that uh, the play prefab is at zero, zero, zero. So uh, in the code now, um, in our player control class, we're going to need to modify some uh, stuff for the uh, uh to be able to uh, see each player move so what we have to remember is that the network transfer transform component is server authoritative meaning um only changes made on the server will be replicated to the client so you're free to move on your own with the character controller but the network transform is not going to replicate where you are uh from the client to the server it's only always from the server to the client so it means that we can't move here without sending our input to the server so that he moves us to and then uh, we can see it replicated. So we're going to do some little function here, uh, clean up a little bit so that um, uh, it's easier to kind of send these things. So um, basically what we're sending to the server is uh, the, um, the input. So uh, movement input. Um, so we're going to extract that into a function because e locally and um, and on the server, we're going to use kind of the, the same method, right? Because uh, it's the same thing. It's just that uh, the server has the authority to do it. So um, here uh, we change that and we say move. And then we send the movement input. Okay. Uh, for, we're going to change this, but uh, for now, that's going to be it. And we need to do the same thing for uh, the rotation. So we keep the input, but everything else. Um, in fact, here it's already in a separate um, method, but we're going to change it so that it takes the whole look input because that's what the the, the server... Uh, is, uh, no, no, in fact, well, you know what? No, the camera is rotated locally. So we're just going to keep it here. Because uh, this is not replicated, but this is replicated. So this, we're going to put it in a, another function called rotate. Void rotate here. It's going to take a vector2, which is the look input, like this. And then here it is. So uh, this is going to be replicated. So we can then now just call it here, rotate look input. Yeah. I kind of like the signature to be the same. So, in fact, I'm going to change it here. Um, uh, where's that rotate camera here? So, it's going to be a vector 2. Uh, we're going to call it look input. And we just care about the Y component. And another, like this. And here, dot Y. Okay. So, that's, what, that's the only thing we care about for that. Um, so good. Now we're going to be able to uh, start sending our input to the server. So now we're going to look into our own first server uh, call. So um, when you're a local player, you, as I said, you can move. So you need to ask, well, you can move, but it's not going to be replicated. So we need to ask the server to move. So there's a couple uh, convention. First, it needs to be a method. Second, it needs to be named. Uh, and in server RPC. Uh, whoops, server RPC. Okay, this is the the end of the name. So we're gonna call it um, uh, move server RPC. Okay, we're gonna give him a vector two, which is the move imp movement input movement input, and another vector two, which is the look input. All right, so here it is, and here it's. Uh, easy because now we made some function so we are just passing it through uh, nope move meant input and then rotate with the look input there we go um, so 
uh, we just need to add a little attribute here that says server RPC. There we go. So this is a function that if you're on your client, you call, it's going to be executed for you on the server. So for the same object, but on the server. Um, so that way, uh, um, you can ask the server here, if, if is local, you can ask the server to move you. So we're going to refactor this a little bit. Here, what we need to do is, um, in fact, if you're, um, if you're the local uh, person, we're going to just remove this for now. Uh, no, 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 not this, not this. We're going to move this up here for now because we want to read the input each frame. <clears throat> there we go. And then if local, then uh, we're going to just rotate the camera here. Uh, and then we're going to move server RPC and we're going to give him the movement input and the look input. There we go. So right now we can't move by ourselves and we can't rotate by ourselves. But you can if you are the server. So uh, what we're going to do is another else if is server. And then we're going to do the movement here. Um, in fact, we yeah, we can simplify that right now. We're going to we're going to make sure that because right now the problem with this is that um, it's it's simpler, but it doesn't take into account like if it's if movement input is zero zero um, or look input is zero zero, it's still going to try to um, send things to the server and it might do some traffic, but we're going to fix it um, later. So for now, this is the basic basic of how you can make your uh, movement network. Now let's test this. Um, so before we test it, we had to do some fix um, uh, in this side. Um, I forgot, but the problem is um, we want to check the is local player second because the server is also the local player. So in that case, he was still sending um, his input to the move uh, to the server, which he was. So let's check first. He is the server. And also if he is the local player, because it um, the if his server um, if we're not putting his local server player uh, after, um, he's going to move all player at the same time and uh, it's going to be messy. So we need the is server and also check that he is a local server also. He is a local player also. And then uh, we make him move. All right. Now let's get back to testing in Unity. All right. So now let's test the game. I did a build. I'm going to host in here. Join to the right. So uh, let's go. Here we go, and now we can join. It's gonna take a little bit. Let's go to one of my favorite map, and it would say ready here. We go. We're gonna wait for this one to catch up. Take up to six seconds, start, and then here we go. We can start. I'm gonna move that one out of the way. Go back on focus for the other window. Here, Ooh, we're in the ground, but it's gonna snap back in. We can fix that at some point. We can play with the prefab to fix that. But um, we still have a problem here. They don't move at the same speed. And that's a problem. That's a little problem. Um, we're going to fix that in the next video by also uh, implementing a fix tick rate. And there it is for the network player movement. In the next video, we're going to take a look at um, having a fixed tick rate, tick rate between the host and the client. It's going to fix that um, different speed issue. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like, uh, I created a Discord channel that you can join for me to be able to help you if you have a problem with the videos and for you to also be able to talk with other game devs. So uh, join it if you want. Uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.